Welcome back everybody to Planescape Torment, as promised from last episode. Today we are going to read the Dodeca Do Dodecahedron, the journal. Unfold the journal, let's do a lot of re reading. <clears throat> okay, clearing the throat, starting. Read about the whispering shadows. The whispers are not the shadows moving. They are speaking, plotting, talking to each other. I can understand some of what they say. Uh, okay, read something else. Read about a female ghost. The book tells me things, whispers things. It tells me to avoid the ghost girl. Avoid her. I don't know her. And she torments me. What? Read about something hiding within your body? Yep, we've done that. And so I swallowed it, hoping it'd catch in my bowels, make someone remove it when I need to. Well, we've done that, haven't we? Read some of the paranoid ranting. I have learned that my life is not my own. I will not allow you to have my life. You will have to pull my life from my broken body if you want it. It's you who will die. If I cannot have it, neither will you. You are responsible for this treason of flesh. You will not live to live my life. Okay. Uh, read about the accursed tattoos. The accursed tattoos will not leave my skin. I have tried to burn them off with... Burn them off my skin. Failed. Failed. Try and I cloak myself. But I always feel that people are reading my flesh, reading me like a book. When they, whenever they look at me, I want to tear their eyes out, pluck them out from their sockets and crush them beneath my heel. Read something else. Read about the dreams and revel. I used the goblet of Samir to force a waking dream. I saw the hag. She tempted me, threatened me with shadows. I have never seen her. But she came when I dreamt. I must not dream again. I must always be aware. I destroyed the goblet. She says she is someone of power. That she will have me. Will find me. Get away, hag. Stay far from me. Leave me in peace. I want nothing to do with you. Continue, continue reading portion of the journal. Her voice reeks of the evil talons, talons like spiders. They burrowed into my grey matter, and I need her out of my mind. Out, 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 hag. She was a myth, a fairy tale, who alone challenged the Lady of Pain. How can one fight someone who is a myth? I don't have the weapons. I need weapons that will kill her, should she find me. I need a strategy so she cannot defeat me when she comes for me. I must devise and think. I shall beat her. Um, read about the dangers of names. Fear names. Names have power and identity. Names can be used as weapons by others. They are a hook that can be used to track you, find you, hunt you across the plains. Remain nameless and you shall be safe. Uh, read about the killing in the festival. I went to the festival looking for the path of my false self in its halls. So glaring it was that I did not know the false ones welcomed me into their confidence, treated me as a friend, showed me my room, attended my needs. I had to restrain myself by launching out against them. That would be, have been premature. I need to protect my identity. I find one who knew the exclusive language of the Oyo. I learned, I learned it as soon as I could, then killed him. I went to the sensorium and prepared to end the matter. Soon. Soon. Uh, <clears throat> read about the murder of the one who tried to help you. There is nothing he can do. Memories are gone, he says. Never to return. He says lies and tells me that there... This is what he told me. Lies. He says my mind is weakening from every death. Lies. He sat there betraying my confidence with every turn. He says only after three more deaths, three more lies, I will gain the benefit of keeping my memories. But that I myself, I will die when I die. Die. How can one be immortal and still die? 
He could not answer, so he was of no use. I butchered him so no other incarnation will ever benefit from his uselessness. Whoa. Read the cryptic answer from an unknown source. So the ghastly head said, You have been divided. You are one of many men. One in many men? You bear many names. Each has left scars on your flesh. Lost one, immortal one, incarnations end, a man of a thousand deaths, the one doomed to life, restless one, one of many, one who, whom life holds prisoner, the bringer of shadows, the wounded one, misery bringer, Yemeth. You are the silver glass that has cracked and the pieces scattered across history. Only one piece of it is of import. Regain that and your life will be yours again. There will be a price. This price will bring you a chance. Without the chance, you are doomed. You have lost that, that which is never meant to be separated from man. Your mortality has been stripped from you. Lost. It exists, but you must find it before your mind is lost to you as well. Alright. Read something about a legacy. A legacy, a note reads. Forget not to collect your legacy. A small code is scratched beside it. 51 AA. A trap, no doubt, set by yet another one of my false selves. I'll see it destroyed, I will. Put the journal away. Alright, well, that sounds like... If I go to the map, um, it is not in this area area or is it I'm looking for the warehouse where they store stuff and it is definitely not here so I want to go up here and out so we're in the clerk's ward now we want to go find something else yeah, that warehouse. I'm, I don't rightfully remember where it is. I believe it could be in the lower ward. Uh, where are we? The warehouse. Yep, right here. This is where I want to go. Right. Alright. So... Yes, we, I'll consider getting, uh, have letting people rest. <coughs> Vault of the Ninth World. Twice welcome to the Vaults of the Ninth World. How may I serve you on this fine day, Signilian? I'd like to claim something. And what were you looking for exactly? Uh, looking for a large bag of coins? 300? <laughs> no. Uh, answer a few more questions for you. Um, I'd like to store something. I'm sorry, full up at the moment. I'd like to claim something. Hmm. More questions? Huh. Maybe I should talk to these people. Can I talk to these people? Endure. In enduring, grow strong. I would much like to talk with these people if it is at all possible. All right. It is indeed possible. Oh, oh, more people to talk to. Lena. You see a middle-aged woman, her face care-lined and compassionate. Looks like she's uh, led a hard life. Can I help you with something, stranger? Uh, who are you? I'm Lena. I supervise these other two. She waves her hand at the, her companions. What is it you do here? This is a storehouse. I'm the supervisor. 
Things get stored here, things get taken out of here, she shrugs. Not much to tell, really. I see, my thanks and farewell. Connell? You see a thin, sulking man. His long, nimble fingers quiver slightly. He has the trouble of meeting your eyes when he talks to you. You, you startled me. I haven't seen you around here before, stranger. Um, what do you want from me? Who are you? I'm Connell. I work here. And what is this place? He looks at you carefully to see if you're joking. It's the vault of the ninth world. It's a storehouse. Didn't you read the sign when you came in? Not that carefully. Who are you? I'm Connell. I work here. Um, yeah, that's going round around. It's Otis. You see a hulking man, dull-faced and slack-jawed. His muscles, however, are truly a sight to behold. He regards you steadily with dead eyes. What? Who are you? No talk to me. Talk leaner. He waves his oak-like arm at the woman supervisor. Just a few questions? No talk to me! He seems agitated. Alright, alright, farewell. Right, um... Okay, clearly I can't get past there. Huh. I don't think there's actually anything here. Crates, crates, crates. Hmm. All right. I honestly thought that was going to give me a hint hmm I mean we could go to the cathedral once again but uh, I f fear that's going to be um, yeah, getting mazed again, and that's something I think that I really don't want to have happen. Right, um, the only thing left, well, I can't go that way. So what do we have here, the print shop? Actually, I don't think I've even been in the print shop. You see a thin, stoop man hunching over a desk, scribbling, scribbling on a piece of paper. His hair is thinning and drab, drawn back into a ponytail, and thin spectacles adorn his hooked nose. His age could be anywhere from his early 20s to his late 40s. He look, doesn't look up when he sp as he speaks to you. What do you want? Make it quick. What do you do here? He looks at you sharply, ceasing the scritching of his pen. Are you entirely dim? It's a printing shop. I print things here. I look around. I look around. Look around you. I print. What do you print? Books, pamphlets, handbills, words, letters, whatever. He amends. <clears throat> Though I don't do racy prints, I won't fulfill any perversions you might want, nor do I care to ask. Well, I had a few questions. Do they have to do with work? Are you the one who wrote this note I found in the mortuary? He takes the note from you, looks it over, and crumples it into a ball, which promptly crumples into ash. He looks at you levelly. Someone's been defaming my good name, it seems. Now, did you want something? Aren't you worried about that defamation? Why would I? Why would I be? It's just competition in Sigil. I've got a good idea who it might be too, and I have a little surprise for my own coming for them. Could I be of any of any of assistance? Are you truly as stupid as you look? Of course not. Don't take that tone with me. He waves his hand, and you find yourself outside the shop. What the? Okay. We just got booted out. Fine. We'll go fine. We'll go somewhere else. Now, clearly, 
it seems to be someone in the Civic Festival that's supposed to help us with Ravel. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Maybe if I recall correctly in my quarters was there not a locked door or something of the like oh well, let's let's talk with splinter uh, have some questions is there anyone here who might know about Ravel Puzzwell? Spinter closes his eyes and thinks briefly. We would recommend you speak to a wizard by the name of Quell about the Ravel. Quell is always somewhere in the festival, most often in the private sensorium. Show me to the private sensorium, please. Okay. Uh, there's the scene. I thought we'd, we'd uh, done Quell's part, but... <coughs> Quell glances around him as you approach. Blast! Nowhere to hide! He sighs loudly. Well, out with it. What do you wish of me now, hmm? He pops a candy in his mouth and looks at you expectantly. I have some questions. He rolls his eyes, indicating for you to continue with a wave of his hand. What do you know about Ravel Puzzwell? At the mention of her name, he swallows the candy he's been sucking on with a large gulp, wincing in pain. What to tell? Why tell at all? Such things, such tales, best left in dusty books in the attics of old men's minds. Evil, evil, such a name, such a name, and such dark tales swim around it and like flies on a corpse. Just the same, I need you to tell me. He rolls his eyes, plopping another candy in his mouth. She's night hag, my boy. I think I've, I've read all this bef before. Um, shadow magic. Yes, yes, yes. He seems uneasy to sp about speaking with her. Ravel dabbled. No, not dabbled, but excelled in all schools of magic. She knew shadow magics, magic of illusion, shadow substance, shadows, residues of dead things. Other questions? Okay. Mazed. He nods grimly. The Lady of Pain, see, she rules the city of Sigil, keeps the powers out and such. One of the punishments she reserves for those who crosses her is mazing. She breaks off a piece of Sigil, twisting it about and banishing it to who knows where. The offender trapped inside. Gone, gone, gone. They are to the plains then. You mentioned shadow magic. How might I find her? How might you what? These candy rolls around out of his mouth onto the tiles. Before you can do so much to look at it, he snatches it up and pops it back into his mouth, giving you a dirty look. Why would you ask such a thing? Are you mad? What could you possibly want with such an evil creature? She knows something about my past. Doubtful. She was made many centuries ago. Gone. Penned in the dead book she is, even if she were to somehow be still clutching to life with her black and bloody talons. What could she possibly know about you? She was the, the spitting image of a cacking evil, that is, and was even willing to help you. I'll just have to hope that she's alive and will help me. By Lexi's six teats and her swollen tummy, what a flickering candle of a hope curled into the howling winds of pandemonium that is! Flicker, flicker, whoosh! Don't be more than any of the fool that you need to be. I must seek her out, whether she's dead or alive. If she's dead, and she most, most, most likely is, then what's your plan on my ass? Do you have everything figured out, do you? Quell is just blowing words out of his pits. Nonsense, nothing. What do you plan to do if she's in the dead bouquet? What do you think I should do? The first brilliant question you've asked me. I think you should give up this clueless idea of entering the mazes and chatting with night hags and loping back to whatever crypt you crawled out of. Makes far better sense than fishing the lady's anger it does. 
Can you tell me how to get to a maze? I think I've done that. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to read it anyway. Lunatic Madman Adelcove, you have not listened to a word I've said. She's in prison in an interdimensional maze for trying to best the Lady of Pain. That means she's at least ten times as balmy as you and at least a hundred times more powerful. She's most likely dead, 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 and thrice dead. And if by some happenstance she isn't, she'll make you dead. I understand. I really need your help. Can you tell me how to reach her or not? Quill goes quiet, chewing his lip. After a moment, he fishes in his tunic for a mint and plops it into his mouth. You're serious. Serious now. Why so serious, so beta bent or, or so mule stubborn, he sighs. Well, born clueless, die clueless. Yes. Okay, um, maze their portal, which I know to be true, a way in and a way out, the lady fashions them. I do not know the portal or its location or even its form, but I'm told its key is a piece of Ravel. Then you have to make do. Find something that reveals Tate in it, mayhap. That's all I know. If you want to go pestering someone about like that, go to the brothel. Okay, so I sh I have to go to the brothel. Farewell. All right. Hmm. Running round and round in circles, I be. Okay, um... There's still something there, that... Book. It's like a locker or something? Like, with a code? To retrieve something. Where can one retrieve something, I wonder? Let's try the room clerk. Um, yes, we'll rest. Okay. So that hasn't really helped me that much. Done. Done. Locked. Okay, so that's locked. Done. Locked. There's no lock, latch, or any other obvious way to, st to open this uh, sealed storage closet. Hmm. Okay, well. That still leaves me at an impasse. I would have thought there was something in the warehouse. I could be wrong. Alright. Let's go back to the Dodecahedron Legacy A legacy, the note reads Forget not to collect your legacy 51 AA Fifty one AA Hmm Is obviously a code of some description. Still haven't found this guy's head. <laughs> right. So collecting a legacy, huh? Um, nope. Now, 
maybe I should just we'll try we'll try go make him the brothel I know I haven't spoken to everybody in there as yet at least I don't think so although if I remember correctly there's one of the um, prostitutes that uh, we have yet to uh, reveal the identity of the the, ma the polymorph mage uh, get some questions. Uh, do you know anything about Ravel? Or Yives? Another question. Uh, da da da. <laughs> right. Um hmm. All right. Kensai Delora. I'm gone. Fall from Grace. Had some of the questions, Lewis. Um, <laughs> I'm gone. That's Vivian, Nanny. I don't think I've actually spoken to you guys before. Juliet, the tragic. Um. That's Echo. Done. Nobody right. in there. I'm gone. That's Marissa. I'm gone. Huh. I do declare I'm actually I think I'm missing somebody. That's Vivian, Echo. Uh, um, let's have a look. Do you know anything about Ravel Puzzle? She nods. What Updated do you know of her? Journal. Oh, she simply looks at you. May I ask why you can't communicate? She uh, sighs softly and nods. Um, was your voice stolen? Updated my journal. She nods vigorously, clasping her hands together and smiling at you. Do you know of any way to get your voice back? She shakes her head, her face wrought with frustration. She suddenly looks at you pleadingly, as if expecting it, as if expecting an answer. Okay. I need to know your name to ask about your voice. Is it Echo? Updated my journal. She uh, nods uh, smilingly. Val, I swear to look for another way to return to your voice. Okay, I'll look for something that would give you a voice echo. Fair. Updated my journal. Um. Okay. I picked up a quest and I don't know how the hell to do it. Had some questions. How the hell? <laughs> Instead of uh, finding a quest, I uh, uh, found another one. Although Echo may be able to help me. Delora? Had some questions. Never mind. Okay. Lewis is not going to help me. I wonder if 
fall from grace might be able to help. How may I help you? I have some questions. Um. No. Oh, what? Hang on. How may I help you? Would you like to join me on my travels? Anna stiffens and starts muttering under her breath. Who's who's to say she'll be coming with us? We do not like the likes of her, like the looks of her. Knows we don't. Bar that feeling, Mort clicks his teeth together. I'm all for the succubus coming with us. The powers know that you're about as fun as passing her through a cowthrop tree of ours. Oh, you best let your bone box go or rattle you so hard you'll be picking your teeth off the spire. Travel with you? Fall from Grace smiles slightly. She seems to be ignoring your companions. That's rather forward of you. Um, I'd rather be honest with my intentions. You seem extremely pleasant and well versed in the ways of the plains. A companion with that kind of knowledge would be welcome. Hey, wait a minute. I'm the one well versed in the plains. That's my job, Chief. Having two people knowledgeable about the planes in our band seems to be pretty smart to me. Besides, I said pleasant too, Mort. Pleasant on the eyes, maybe. Look to me, look to me of it's, uh, yeah. Looks to me like some odds. My God, uh, looks to me like all some shit has to do is to show a little skin. And you sign it right up. Mort fell silent. Not that I mind really. I just thought I'd mention it. Noted, Mort. Look. Lady Grace, excuse me for being too forward, but would you care to travel with us? I appreciate your candor. I shall counter with some of my own. Why should I travel with you? You're a sensei. Surely there must be a limit of how much you can learn here. I think you would be surprised. If you want me to accompany you on your travel, I need a far more compelling reason than that. You mean you wouldn't want to be interested in travelling with an immortal amnesiac who is searching the planes for, for himself? Oh, I would be extremely interested, she smiles slightly. Such a suggestion is intriguing. Make no mistake about that. Then you would like to travel with me then. If you wish me to, but there is something you must do for me. There are ten students in the establishment. I'd like you to speak to all of them, then return to me with your thoughts. <laughs> we shall see if you, we shall travel together or not. Very well, I will go speak with them then. I will return when I have spoken to all of them. But I have. I have spoken to all of them already. I'm sure How of it. May I, help you? Um, I spoke to the nine of the students you had asked, but could not find the tenth. And you could not find the tenth student? How curious. I think Lewis is a 10th student, in his own way. She nods, very well, and your thoughts? Um, I've learned that what it means to aspire to be a sensate, that it is better to go in search of experience than rather, rather than have it come to you. For from greatest nods. Very well, I will travel with you, if you still desire my company. I do. My god. You couldn't possibly understand. <laughs> I wish she would fall from great height. I might even bump her off myself. Oh, nastiness all round. Holy cow. But still... What is for from Oh, she's a priest. Really? Yes. Spells. Cure light wounds. May my face lend me strength. She always say. What else can she do? Okay, blessing, spiritual hammer, cure moderate wounds. Oh, that's fantastic. Having a healer in the party. Fantastic. So, 
I've done that. Right. So, how do we find Echo a voice? Done. Hmm. Very, very interesting. In fact, I'm actually going to move more up further. Be, be a frontliner. Okay, so that's Echo. Brothel patron. Actually, hang on. If anybody would know anything about a voice, it would be Nanny. Uh, Yives? Ah, uh, there's Yives. Um, I have Fourth from Grace. Do you have a story to trade? I have no story that I wish to share with you today, Tail Chaser. I cannot let you exhaust my library before I can find more stories. Uh, ask another companion. Uh, Dacon, do you have a story to trade? Dacon nods solemnly. I shall impart the tale of Da'a Tree Drowning. Tarkon tells of the story of Achali, a foolish Githsarai of myth who had become lost in the chaos of limbo. Normally a single Githsarai may use their focus and mental discipline to form the chaos around them into a small habitable, habitable, habitable environment. Achali, however, asks so many useless and unfocused questions in her quest to return home that she that her isle of matter dissolved around her and she drowned. Yives, Yives smiles. Fascinating, Dakon. Let me share with you and your companion another version of your tale that I have heard. Dakon looks attentive and perhaps a little surprised. Uh, well, I, have a, I had a question. Um, do you know anything about Ravel? The tale of Ravel, Frightened of Children, begins and ends with what is a ch uh, Yes, go on. I think I've gone through this before. Had another question. Okay, there's something. Okay, so. Mm. We've got to find Echo's voice somehow. And with that, it's going to be the next episode of Planescape Torment. I'm going to have a little look in a wiki or two and see how that is done because I am at a loss. All right, folks, if you've liked the episode and liked the series so thus far, do go ahead and click that like button. And, of course, if you're interested in anything else I've done in the past, do go ahead on to the playlists to the right-hand side. I've been Raytech. I'll see you next time.